Hi, I'm Emma from Go Free Diving and I'm going to give you a little introduction to the Frenzel Equalisation Technique. Now if you've done any equalising in the past, maybe you've done scuba diving, you have probably been taught to pinch your nose and create pressure, blow out against the pinched nose and that will pop or open up the eustachian tubes to clear your ears. Maybe you've been on an aeroplane and as the aeroplane descends you felt a build up of pressure in the ears so maybe you've moved your jaw or maybe you've swallowed to release the pressure. When you're free diving, however, you're going to be going head first and you're going to be going quite quickly compared to scuba diving where you have a lot more time to equalise the pressure in your ears. In the top 10 metres of water, the pressure changes are the greatest and so you're going to have to be equalising your ears a lot, particularly in that top 10 metres. So the frontal equalisation technique is much more targeted and effective than the Valsalva and it's safer because with the Valsalva you can create so much pressure that you can actually damage your ears if you blow too hard, where the Frenzel is much more kind of controlled. And also it doesn't use the diaphragm, it just uses from here upwards. So whereas the Valsalva, you are using your diaphragm and your tummy muscles to create pressure, with the Frenzel you're using the tongue. So if I explain, if you shut off your epiglottis, so if you imagine that you're lifting a heavy weight and you kind of go, oh, that shutting the epiglottis, or you make a sound, ah, uh, ah, uh, and you shut off the sound, again you're closing the epiglottis. So ideally you want to be closing the epiglottis, but don't worry if that doesn't happen to begin with. Then what you're doing is you're using the back of the tongue to create pressure between your tongue and the roof of the mouth. So if you imagine that the roof of the mouth is here and your top front teeth are there, here's your tongue, and what you're doing is the tip of the tongue is behind the teeth and you're pushing the back of the tongue up like that. So if you want to just say g or k, you can feel how the back of the tongue is hitting the roof of the mouth. So that's the first thing if you say g, k, k, you can feel the back of the tongue touching the roof of the mouth. So then what you want to do is see if you can put the tongue behind the teeth and then start moving the back of the tongue up and you should see here how this starts to move. So if you can also now hear, what I'm going to do is I'm going to only half pinch my nose, I'm not going to completely seal it. And you should hopefully be able to hear a small amount of air coming out of my nose every time my tongue comes up. So if that's difficult to do, what you can do is you can create, first of all, a, a stream of air coming out your nose. And once you've got that stream going, then try and add to it by pushing the back of the tongue up like this. You can also try to do the friends with your mouth open. Some people find that more easy, or they actually find it a way of making sure they're doing it the right way. But it's quite handy to practice in front of a mirror and just to see, with men it's easy, you can see the Adam's apple going up and down, but just see if this part is starting to move up, and then see only with a very half pinch nose, so you don't want to completely pressurise your ears on land, you can create that pressure and that little bit of puff through the nose whilst the tongue is going. So that's just a very brief introduction to the Frenzel Equalisation Technique and we're going to be going through it much more on your course so we look forward to seeing you then.